Hello YouTube, today I'll be giving you a review of the Cross Aventura fountain pen. I did an unboxing of this pen, you can see it on one of the links below in the description. So this is the Cross Aventura. I mean it's just a black and a chrome, or I should say silver version, because this is not actual chrome, it's probably some cheap metal. Um, a reason why I say cheap metal, because this pen was only $20. So it can't be actual chrome and beautiful steel and such. But the body's decent. It's a relatively lightweight pen. So let's start with the cap. Okay, the cap is a little bit different than the pens that I've reviewed before. Like I said in my unboxing, it is not a straight up and down cap. And I can even show you a little comparison on how not straight the, the cap is. Unstraight, I should say. That's a cap that goes straight up and down. That cap, this cap slightly slants, which is cool. Which makes this a little bit unusual for a pen. So, or that, that can we can do that too. So, like I said, the body of this pen is not the sturdiest, but um, and it's not the most robust, but it does the job for twenty dollars. Also, here, there's a little slit as you can see, and I haven't tried this, but let's see if this slit goes all the way through by just picking up a normal business card from Northeastern for my school. And as you can see, the card does go through the other side. So this is an actual hole here, which is kind of neat. And it really knows that design. And of course, on the actual clip, it says, I can get it to focus. It says cross here. It's in, it's in laid in here, which is nice. So that's the gap. Put that sideways look sideways looking thing right there. And here's the actual pen itself. Same type of body. Has a, a little neat design here with this little metal ring that goes around. Here, what looks like like it looks kind of like plastic, but I think this is actually a very, very, very cheap metal. And here's the nib. The nib has some design to it, which was very interesting to me that it had any design. But it's not the most fascinating thing, and it of course says cross on it. So they did put a little bit of time into the into the nib. It's just a typical steel nib, not much flex to it, but you can get the um the nib to separate a little bit, which I'll show you in my my writing sample. So when you unscrew the the barrel, you see that there is an ink cartridge in here. I use this pen quite frequently just to get some good use out of it. And the ink cartridge is empty. But it's uniquely shaped, so I I know for a fact that this will not take a standard ink cartridge, which is very smart on their part. Now they can market to everyone that wants cartridges. Put a hefty price on them too. My opinion, refill this one with a, with a, a needle, a syringe, with whatever favorite inks you like to write with instead of buying their proprietary cartridges. So this is the barrel once again. What one thing I like about the barrel is it has this neat design on the end here. It's slanted. Which gives which makes kind of sense with the pen cap, you know, the pen cap cap slanted. This is slanted. So when that stands straight up it kind of stands at an edge. It sits at an edge, I should say. So, putting back together the pen a little bit. Now we have the grip section, which is not bad. Not bad. You really can't see how long the pen is because it's not the full pen. When you put the pen completely together, the pen is a nice length. You don't need it to be capped for it to sit nicely in your hand, as you can see. When this cap is a little bit awkward because the cap really doesn't stay on that well. So so now um 
It does st still, like I said, it stays a little bit awkwardly in your hand. But once you like swirl around a little bit, the pen the cap flies right off. So I'd be very careful. But now let's get to a writing sample with the little bit of ink I still have in the pen. I'm going to just get a sheet of paper and we'll get started. So let's just write something. One thing you can hear is how scratchy it is. You can hear how loud it is. It does have a lot of reverb. And this is some fast writing, so we'll just K215. It seems to keep up very nicely, and we'll just put down a nice amount of ink. We'll do it a bit faster. It manages to keep up. Only negative thing is you constantly hear the noise from the nib, which is okay. It's relatively. And I say relatively, again, relatively, relatively smooth. I have used smoother fountain pens in this price range. But, you know, what can you ask for when you're paid only 20 bucks when it gets going on their website for like 35 plus? So I'm satisfied. I hope you enjoyed my review. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more reviews of your pens, your gadgets, your technology. I mean, pretty much anything. If you want to see something reviewed, just shoot me uh, a um, comment on this. Or you can shoot me a message. And I'll try to see what I can do. Thanks for watching. Bye.